Hi viewers, welcome to SS Academy channel. Today we are going to discuss about 12th Physics Volume 1 Unit 1 Electrostatistics 5 mark questions. Okay, so derive the expression for resultant capacitance when capacitors are connected in series and in parallel. Here, first we want to know capacitor in series. So, consider three capacitor of capacitance. Three, C1, C2 and C3 connected in series. Let V the, be the potential difference applied across the series combination. Each capacitor carries the same amount of charge Q. So, let V1, V2, V3 be the potential difference across us. Uh, so, thus V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Uh, then V1 is equal to Q divided by C1. V2 is equal to Q divided by C2. V3 is equal to Q divided by C3. So, then write V is equal to uh, Q divided by C1 plus Q divided by C2 plus Q by C3 is equal to. Uh, then uh, commonly we take out the Q value. So, Q into 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Since uh, the charge is the, each capacitor carries the same amount of charge Q. The next uh, V is equal to CS be the effective capacitance of the series combinations. So, it should occur a charge Q when a voltage V is applied. So, across it V is equal to Q divided by CS. So, can I write Q by CS is equal to Q by C1 plus Q1. Q by C2 plus Q by C3. The next uh, here 1 by CS. Uh, CS is the capacitance of the series combinations. 1 by CS is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Uh, so, when a number of capacitors are connected in a series, the reciprocal of the effective capacitance is equal to the sum of reciprocal of the capacitance of the individual capacitors. So, this is the capacitor in series. The next step, capacitors in parallel. So, consider three capacitors of capacitance C1, C2 and C3 connected in parallel. Let this parallel combination be connected to a potential difference V. The potential difference across each capacitor is the same. So, the charges on the three capacitors are uh, the uh, Q1 is equal to C1V, Q2 is equal to C2V, Q3 is equal to C3V. So, the total charge in the system of capacitor is Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. So, therefore, Q is equal to C1V plus C2V plus C3V. But, we know Q is equal to CPV, where CP is the effective capacitance of the system. So, therefore, CPV is equal to V into C1 plus C2 plus C3. Here, therefore, CP is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Hence, the effective capacitance of the capacitors connected in parallel. Connected in parallel is the sum of the capacitance of the individual capacitors. This is the difference between the uh, capacitors in series and capacitors in parallel. Okay. So, uh, let us uh, let us discuss some uh, um, our day to day life experiences. It is a series where we used means an example of a series circuit is a string of Christmas lights. Uh, if any one of the bulbs is missing or burned out, no current will flow under and none of the lights will go on. Okay. So, then parallel where we use means the parallel circuits are like the smaller blood vessels that branch that branch off from an artery and then connect to a vein to return blood to the heart. Okay. Hope you understand. It is a very important question. Okay. Thank you. All the best.